Hey guys, today we're gonna make a gramophone for a stage production. Let's have a look. Now that our side pieces are cut, as well as the top and bottom piece, we're gonna have to route the edges all around these two pieces. I'm going to use some tight bond wood glue, as well as some two inch common nails, any of the things I use in this video, you can find links to in the description below. But after gluing and hammering in all the sides, we can continue on. All right, now that we have these edges put together, we're gonna trace the inside of this, and then we're gonna go ahead and attach the square to the base and kind of get it, get it going. So I've pre-drilled pilot holes so these nails go in nice and easy, the wood won't split. And then I'm gonna glue and continue nailing it into the base. Okay, nails, now glue. Don't need a ton, because obviously it's got nails. This is kind of just to reinforce to make sure the nails don't end up pulling out. Once everything is properly aligned, we can hammer in the main body to the base. All right, now that those are in, let's check my edges. A little bit of glue, but we'll wipe that off and we'll be on our way. Now that this is all connected to the base, we're gonna get the lid on top of it, but what's gonna happen is it's not gonna just be secure, we're gonna actually hinge it so it can open like a cabinet, a little secret box, but we won't get into that just yet. After that, we're going to put some handles on here, some hardware, just to add some accents and give it some, you know, a little bit of character. Once the handles are in place, I'm gonna use a rubber mallet to secure them. That way it doesn't damage the handle. Now that the handles are on and the casing is kind of complete at this point, we're gonna do the hinged lid. So I have these hinges, the uh, gatehouse, little cabinet hinges, small hinges. And we're gonna put those on. I'm gonna mark where the hinges need to be drill some pilot holes, and then hand screw everything in. That way it doesn't get over tightened and ruin the hinge or the wood. Just like that, hinge is attached. Now we're gonna go on to attaching the lid itself to the box. Now you wanna make sure your hinges are all aligned properly, so that way it closes and aligns properly. So let's do that now. Let's be careful. So let's go on further and the side uh, crank. I'm going to sand a small groove into a dowel and then round out the end. So I made a handle for the crank, put some accent grooves in there with a the Dremel, and then just kind of sanded another like uh, ergonomic groove, if you will. And now we're gonna add the wire portion, just using some hanger, simple hanger. We're gonna trim it down and then just bend it to the appropriate style that we need. Now that the hanger is bent to the appropriate angle, I'm gonna drill a hole into the handle and then glue the hanger as well as the hole and put everything together so it's secure. So before adding more detail, I'm going to add another thing. Obviously, this is from an actual record player. It's the pad. I did have to trim it slightly because it is smaller, which is fine. It's great, it makes it a lot more transportable, but it's not gonna look that much smaller when it's on stage, which is really kind of the point. What I did here in the back to get us started on the horn and the needle is I basically took just a piece of small two by four, trimmed it down, and then there's two screws that go right inside you can see there. That's screwed in and that's gonna support the horn and the needle arm. Right now, I'm gonna get a nail, drill a hole, and make the peg for the actual record and pen. Let's move on to making the horn. I'm going to need to cut out six of these pieces. I made a template earlier. Essentially, we're gonna tape them together, then spray paint it, make it look really nice, and attach it to a tube, like a piece of PVC. And we're gonna bend that in a blowtorch, and then there's two pieces of wood uh, cut into a hexagon. One has a hole in it, and we're gonna kind of put it all together. I'm going to connect this piece of PVC to this hexagon piece of wood, which is gonna be the main structural point of the horn. Then taping all the horn pieces together so that it creates the main shape. 
Now that we got this horn kind of started, we're gonna do the needle arm and continue on with that. We have that two by four block back here. Now we have the small piece to extend from the block and the dowel, which is gonna be the main arm. So we're gonna drill holes in this, drill in the back, hammer it all in, put a peg in this at the top, continue on from there. Now to do some assembly, glue and nail everything together, and then take that piece of PVC that I cut off and screw that in as well. Notched out the dowel to make room for the wooden coin as the needle head, and we're gonna attach those together and then kind of finish it off. A few small nails will help keep it secure, then I'm gonna grind down another piece of nail, drill a hole, and make that the needle of the actual gramophone. Scabots, all this dust, but we are almost done here. The next step is to attach the two pieces of the horn together using some screws and tape. So we're gonna get those connected and then we're gonna spray paint it flat black so then we can paint it gold, silver, bronze, what have you. We're gonna do a very light coat with the black undercoat. It'll be a bronzish gold. It'll look very antique. Now everything needs some stain to make it look real nice. Now I'm gonna add some accents with a Dremel to give it a little more character. So now that just about everything is painted, stained, we're ready to go assemble it and kind of see what it looks like. Let's have a look. And what's nice, if you did want to, you could put a Bluetooth speaker inside if you needed to emulate the sound of a gramophone. If you wanna see some more builds and DIYs in the future, hit that subscribe button. Next time, we're gonna do an armature so you guys can do some stop motion animation at home. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We'll see you on another build, art video, character acting, any sort of weird thing. Just join me here on YouTube. We'll see you again. Kungaloosh. Well, I don't wanna just tell him, like, if you wanna see my Etsy stuff, just check out TMR Production Studios on Etsy if you want my woodwork. Like, that would be silly to just, like, try to tell him that. Straightforward, wouldn't it?